वेलकम टू दीक्षा वेदांतु फाइव मिनट फाइव मार्क्स चैलेंज वे यू जस्ट गिव मी फाइव मिनट्स एंड आई गिव यू अ शॉर्ट शॉर्ट फाइव मार्क्स इन योर टेंथ बोर्ड्स वेर वी विल सी कॉन्सेप्ट पी वाई क्यूज एज वेल एज सोल्यूशन इन जस्ट फाइव मिनट्स आई एम अदिति योर वेरी ऑन फिजिक्स टीचर एंड लेट स्टार्ट द चैलेंज विथ फिजिक्स टूडे सो लेट मी शो यू अ क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट विच वर डीलिंग विद एंड विल मूव ऑन टू द ओके so the previous question that we are going to solve today you understand today stays state the rule what do i have to do state the rule used to find the force acting on a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field does all these things ring a bell yes ma'am we need to find force we need to find the direction of force or the force using a hand rule and that is given by fleming's left hand rule it's given by fleming's left hand which hand rule left hand remember it's not right hand it's fleming's left hand rule the first part of the question is already done okay the next part says given below are three diagrams showing the entry of an electron entry of an electron in a magnetic field this is our magnetic field identify the case in which the force will be maximum minimum and yada yada give the reason for your answer let's see the concept first what did i tell you we'll also look at the concept so the concept is fleming's left hand rule now what does fleming's left hand rule state what it says that if you point your index finger your middle finger and your thumb in a direction perpendicular to each other then the, if the index finger points at the current uh, uh, sorry if index finger points at the magnetic field if middle finger points in the direction of current then the direction of thumb will give us will give us the direction of force so the index finger is in the direction of magnetic field the middle finger is in the direction of current and our thumb hence gives us the direction of force acting on that particle so let's back get, uh, get back to the numerical what it says is let's see the first uh diagram so although in this question they didn't necessarily ask you the direction of force but if the force is maximum or minimum but we still need fleming's left hand rule for this so magnetic field was given by index finger so i'll point index finger in this direction and my middle finger is in the direction of current so if electron is downwards the current will be upwards although here direction is not necessarily asked you can either use downwards or upwards anything so if current is upwards the magnetic field the current and our force hence is inwards and we use cross sign for force inwards in the plane and hence our force is inwards in this question we need to say if it's maximum or minimum now remember if our current and our magnetic field here what angle are current and magnetic field makes it makes 90 degree both the electron and current both makes 90 degree with the magnetic field correct so if the current and magnetic field makes an angle of 90 degree then remember the force is always maximum on the particle okay let's see the third diagram here the magnetic field and electron if i make current it will be in opposite direction so it either makes angle 0 degree or current makes angle 180 degree these are both in same direction the current is in opposite direction but both are parallel so they either make 0 degree angle or they make 180 degree angle for both for both 180 and 0 degree our force will be minimum on the particle in the magnetic field now to look at the second diagram it's neither 90 nor 180 so on this the force will be between maximum and minimum they ask just maximum so in this in first diagram the force will be maximum where the angle is 90 degree in second diagram the force will be minimum where the angle is where our angle is 0 degree or 180 degree see that's how easy it was we solved the question in just i hope it's just 5 minutes and this is your proof that this question has come in the previous year in 2023 this exact same question has come in 2024 the similar kind of question using fleming left hand rule now they've given us 
but they also asked us to explain it. The direction of force experienced by a proton which enters vertically downward in a uniform magnetic field acting horizontally. So, my magnetic field was given by index finger. This is my index finger. The proton and current has same direction. So, the proton, the direction of current was given by my middle finger and if I point like this, magnetic field, magnetic field, direction of current, now thumb will give me the direction of force. So force will be outwards, force will be outwards of the plane. Correct, you have solved two very important PYQs and this we end our five minute five marks challenge. I hope you studied well. I hope these five marks will give you a blow in your CBSE board. It will make a big, big difference. And also you can join our WhatsApp channel. I highly recommend this. You will get notification of all these videos so that you don't miss anything. And I also ask you to subscribe our channel. You will get amazing videos, rapid revision in 20, 25 minutes in the coming days. More five minute five marks challenge for other subjects as well. Get ready to ace your boards. Ace your 10th class boards. Tata, bye bye.